Tell the truth. 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 Ooh, that's hard to do. I mean, it is really hard to do. Okay, for a lot of people. But when you really aim to heal in this life before you leave here, you know, the truth becomes easier and easier to tell, in my opinion. Okay? So, what I wanted to do is this message is specifically to black folk. Why do we lie about our dysfunction? Why do we act like we don't see it? I mean, I think that is very, very, that in itself is dysfunction. So good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. Now, I'm not blaming us for being in love with chaos. A lot of us are in love with chaos. And the worst thing is when we don't want to admit it. There's a lot of us that can't stand it. And a lot of us that don't even deal with our family members, don't deal with friends, some people we thought were friends, some people we don't even deal with because what comes with them is drama. And we have learned enough throughout this lifetime to say, uh-uh, I don't want to shorten my lifespan with that. But then there are some of us who are addicted to drama. And so we can't deny it. Look at all of our, most of our channels. I'm not going to say all. Look at most of our channels on YouTube. Well, the most successful ones. A lot of them are about drama. Fighting over here. Who's beefing with who over there. Who, and we get turned on by that. And y'all think that it's not, you think it's just normal? It's not. It's what our standard or our grid has been set to. We are people who have been severely abused and damaged, not only through slavery, through Jim Crow, through civil rights, all that stuff, the brutality of the lynchings, the things we were made to watch, all those things get passed on and it's generational. See, and that's what uh, the dominant society don't want to face. And so they'll just call it, well, it's critical race theory. And you guys want to teach, um, you can't heal what you can't face. Okay. And that goes for black folk as well. The reason why I'm talking about this is, is my man Pat and from the panic room, Pierre, I like his uh, show where there's a bunch of, co of comedians. And, and I think for an hour, a little more, you know, they they're not drinking, so they, their um conversation is not influenced by them being drunk or anything. But they just really come on the show and talk about what it is from their perspective, their time on the road, um their their um times with their families, different comedians, and so Pierre, who is the host of the show and the owner of the show, he said he was going to do an ex he did an experiment, and he made it seem like. That because I'm not familiar with the other guy, Delay or Delay or, but what he made it, he talked about something that he knew most people on the internet knew about, and I think it has something to do with the Delay guy's sexuality. But the joke was on the audience because what they did was Pierre did an experiment because you know just like most of us, we can't get no likes, we can't get no views from y'all. You know, so he was like, damn, how can I beef this up? Even though we see, we know you watching the content. We see that, you know, but you don't get the likes. You don't get the views. You just say, wow, what's going on? But, you know, I'm going to keep on doing this because somehow I'm, I'm obsessed with it. But then you see somebody do a show and his experiment was he was going to start beef. With this guy. Okay. And that's what he did. And guess what? I think he said he had over 40,000 likes. In like nine hours or something. I'm addicted to drama. We addicted to pain. We addicted to drama. 
Our grid has been set to it. And if you never challenge yourself and even ask yourself those questions and you can never be healed. It's like sometimes a person don't have an argument and then they have to, they, they, they can't take it. They have to find somebody to fuss with. They'll call customer service, start fussing with them. Because it's like an alcoholic. After a while, you, you realize that you're used to all that fussing. You're used to all that screaming and hollering. And, and which is all dysfunction. So I challenge each and every one of you. Because I challenged a young man on uh, Pierre's platform. And I asked him how would he describe and how would he explain our dysfunction. Why well, most of our channels are like that. When somebody brings some knowledge about something that's real important. Or that could even help. Help you politically, financially. Um, spiritually, we're not really interested in that. Historically, we want to get down. We want to who was doing what and who was screwing who and who did. And that is a complete learned behavior. Learned. And some of y'all, for your family's sake, better unlearn it. Because you ain't gonna get nowhere fast with that. So, I know a lot of y'all not gonna like this video, but I'm sorry, black people. I had to I had to say it. We are addicted to drama. And we have to check ourselves. We have to put our hands on the pulse of our veins and to try to decide if this is a learned behavior or if this is who I really am. That's just my opinion. Tell me how you feel. Like what you hear, subscribe, and share the channel. See you in the next video.